What up in this John Street boy? I have you guys Kelso coming back for another MX Bikes Banger. We are currently on Wolf Creek MX and we are on the Husqvarna 250. We were able to get into a server. I was going to do just a track review, but I thought a nice little race would be amazing. Kind of get our uh, feet wet, see what the environment is in a race style. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, like and subscribe and let's get right into it, baby. 30 second card, <laughs> aka the 15 card is up. Hopefully everybody's day has been going great. I was going to do a uh, two-stroke on this track, but then again, just not a fan of hearing a two-stroke in my ear the whole time, so it's going to stay on my Husqvarna. I do have some 450s in here. Not a bad start, actually, to be honest with you. I want to slide out. It does get a little slippery around here, and that guy is looking to be heating McGeaton. Oh, what a kick. Saved it. It's all right. It is just a little slippery around here, and that's completely fine. I was able to hold it, though, and catch first place. But is it enough to defeat Mr. Electric? Looks like we're going to have to find out. I don't know if we have any really fast guys in here, so we'll just kind of uh, take it as it is. Guess we only have to worry about his uh, 450s if they're consistent, right? But, yeah, honestly, I vibe with this track. This is probably my favorite part of this uh, part of this track, this section. Just throwing schmeegs, dude, left and right. I should be in like uh, fourth gear here, but I messed up. Oh well. I'm back around on it. Guy's barking on me. We'll slow it down. Let him take that outside. Now, the first time I ever went over that, dude, I absolutely sent that. Oh, come on. See, that's what I mean. Just be consistent a little bit. I know you got the power, guy. Guys, guys, do it. Fuck. What the holy moly? I don't even know what to say to that. That was kind of wild. Kicking up a lot of roost in my face, though. Thought about hitting the 450, too, but... I don't think I have a really good setup. Oh. Got it cut down on there. That was actually pretty nice. Might have to use that. It's going to use the 450, but... I don't think I have a really good Yamaha setup. But the track runs amazing, and it's very smooth, very wide open, and it's just kind of fun. I think this has to be my, like, top three right now of bangers man i just it flows so well like these are these are really nice tracks this is a really dub for me man no weird kick this time that guy got the same kick i did i think i right, snuck it in the fourth we'll just get that driving power husky's not bad man husky is not bad now i've seen a lot of people take that other line right there and let me know down in the comments section if you guys rode this track which line is faster because uh, I like taking the uh, right side one but I see a lot of people take the left but I don't know I guess to each their own I don't think there's no right or wrong section there I gotta stop whipping so hard here because it's easy for me to mess up and I just got a cinder Now, last time I had joined this track and I was trying to get a race, they just wouldn't start it. And it was like a minute long, an hour long practice. And it was like a five lapper. And when I did join, it was already them in progress and they didn't want to start again. So I was like, man, but at least it's three laps. And I think what, two to go after that. So that's not bad. I think you can wheelie through that. I think it would be really cool. I just don't want to chance it right now. You want to try this line he's doing though. Oh, that's not bad. I really didn't rail it. I was kind of scared too, but it's not bad. And then right here, coming to the finish line, that's really slippery. So you just want to like let up on the gas just a bit, like not a tad, but like at least drop a gear, slow down and then pick it back up as you're coming through the corner but the e-road 
I think he was saying it in the description. Uh, set it like pretty low if you have a good amount of people on here because it erodes pretty, pretty hefty. Not, not bad hefty, but like it'll start to get slippery, right? Oh my God, look at the kick. No, that was insane. I didn't even know those people were behind me, man. We were just grooving. I think those are all the 450s. All right, yeah, see? Those guys took it up there. I guess just personal preference. Is that then you... I think you get kicked all the way out to here. You take that outside line. Hit the fourth. Overextend. Overextend. I'm not even gonna try because I low key want the podium. And how about they uh, restart though in IRL? <laughs> D goes in first, and then I think it's not, I wouldn't say childish ways, but I think he's just young mind. Literally, I don't know, man. I, I, I just didn't prove of him hitting Tom Vial and trying to send it from all the way to the mid. Like, I get that you were trying to get it, but you were closed off pretty quick, man. You should have just eased up. And he was going in way too fast, on my opinion. But shout out to Jet Lawrence, bro, in the first moto. That was clean. They were talking about it, they were like, oh, we want to see him come through the pact. Man, oh no. You know what? I can't even go back in. I'll take the cuts. But yeah, Jet's a beast, man. He proves time and time again that he's that guy. Now, don't hate me, but I did not watch the second moto to the 450, so I don't know anything else to that. Uh, I was just finishing up on the second moto to oh, second moto to the uh, 250s, and I was feeling it. I was liking it, and then I was like, you know what? It's time for me to make a video. Keep cranking out some content. So I'm just going back and forth, trying to stay active, man. Also at uh, 600 and something subscribers, bro. You guys are absolutely killing it, and I'm almost at a thousand followers on TikTok. So if you guys want to go follow my TikTok, it'll be down in the description below. At least I can start double streaming to Twitch. I mean, not Twitch and YouTube and TikTok. That'd be amazing. So just been on the grind for that. You guys are absolutely amazing as well. Just killing it. Keep hitting that like button, subscribing. If you guys are new to the channel, made it this far. And yeah, if you guys are enjoying this Husky setup that I do have, it is on my channel. You guys can find that probably posted maybe a week ago or so. So dig through there see what's up with it but this is probably my most consistent bike being at 300 hours <clears throat> man is this last lap or plus two i really don't know <laughs> after the three laps if it's plus two or just one i guess we'll find out but this track is amazing dude and it erodes pretty nice like I, how i was talking earlier i think if you just set it low and a good amount of people on here, it's going to Eero just fine. And I think he was just saying, like, too many people on here and it's going to get caked. So, guy just freaking passed me like it's nothing. Gotta love the 450 life. I think that was the same guy that went down. Yep, it was. So, he's got the speed, but not the consistent, ladies and gentlemen. The consistency is not there. Ooh, really? Gotta bring her down, though. Do not want to freaking endo. Lower down. Pick her back up. And if you guys are looking, oh, that was it. Okay, <laughs> that was that was a race, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I thought that was gonna be like plus two, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching, man. It's your boy IBS Kelso, and I'm gonna catch you guys in the absolute next one. Pop, 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 peace. <laughs>